Yesterday, Montecito Creek at the East Valley Bridge was not much more than a trickle. Here's how it looks today after a few hours of mostly light to moderate rain. Downstream yesterday, we were able to climb down into the storm channel and walk right to the edge of the catch basin. Today, the water level is significantly higher and it's flowing with tremendous velocity. It can be extremely dangerous to anyone who gets too close to the edge. Santa Barbara County Fire Spokesman Mike Elias. You don't want to get too close to these creeks because they can only take six inches of water to knock you down. And so we really want to keep people away from these fast-moving creeks so they don't get swept up in this fast-moving water. In downtown Montecito today, this is what it looks like at the base of Olive View Road. A steady flow of water has been coming down the street all day long. This is the street that had some of the worst damage in the deadly January mud flows. Mud came right to the doorstep of Mark Vance's home, and the house next door was severely damaged. Yesterday, he told us he plans to stay despite the mandatory evacuation orders. We stopped by today to see how it went last night. We stayed up real late, you know, just to see, you know, and got out our popcorn and... Uh, but uh, everything went easy, so we went to sleep after a while. And as for tonight? Definitely staying. Yeah, yeah we'll ride it out. We're, we're hopefully going to be watching the mud go by instead of feeling it.